Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in 2003 Mazda Tribute. First of all, we're going to show you what tools you'll need. You'll need uh, stair removal keys, specifically for this car. They usually come in twos, but you need to get four of them. Uh, you're going to need some type of hook and a Phillips screwdriver. So we're going to start off by using this hook. Uh, as you see on this radio, there's these two plastic panels that have to be removed. They come off fairly easy so you don't really need this type of hook. You can use a small screwdriver and same thing on the other side. You just gotta catch it from behind and it comes off. We're doing that in order to insert the keys. So we're gonna insert the keys. So one goes here. And that's it. Now that we inserted the keys, now the radio can come out. So basically what it does is that it releases this metal uh, stopper on the side. So once you remove it, you can see that it comes out. Same thing on the other side. Just remove it. So once you remove the radio, you're going to see on the back of the radio, there's an open port. And this is where our kit is going to plug into. So uh, our kit is already assembled and it looks like this. So you have the module in the middle. On one side you have the harness cable that is going to connect to the back of the radio. And on the other side you have uh, iPod iPhone connection and also an auxiliary connection. So we're going to take this end, the one that connects to the back of the radio. We're going to just with the with this facing down we're gonna insert it in and that's it so the next time we're gonna turn on the radio it's already gonna have it's it's already gonna recognize our module that has been connected so we're just gonna put it so we can test it so we're gonna first test it and then uh, tell you where to run the cables so we're gonna turn the Turn the radio on. So this is just a regular FM mode, and uh, we're gonna press the CD button. And uh, because we just took out the CD, the regular CD won't show up. So if you press the CD button twice, it gets you to the small CD changer mode. And when there's nothing connected, it's gonna say this four, track seven. So at this time, you can take. This is an iPhone five, so we're gonna connect the auxiliary press play and it's gonna start playing music make sure that it's full volume but uh, with auxiliary you can only can uh, control everything from the, the actual device so if I switch the music it's gonna the second uh, option is to use this Apple cable because it's an Apple device so we're using an authentic Apple adapter so we're gonna connect it and uh, now you're going to be able to switch the music both from the actual iPod iPhone and from your radio. So if I press skip, or that's not skip, that's fast forward. So yeah, as you can see if I use these controls, it skips the music. Uh, another option, uh, this, so this is right now shows uh, disc 1, track 3, so disc 1 is a hybrid mode. This is where you can control music uh, from the phone and from the radio. So if you go to your actual phone, you can choose any song that you want. You can uh, fast forward here, you can press it on shuffle, uh, lock the phone, and then just use the, the radio controls to advance to the songs. Another option uh, that you have is to listen to music by playlist and that um, and that is done by going to disc 2 and up. So as you can see, the, uh, now we're in disc 2 and now we can only control the music through the actual radio. But I wouldn't suggest it on this particular radio because the display is so small and now you you would be locked out out of your iTunes on your phone. So for this car it would be best to use uh, disc 1 and 
where you have the ability to control the music both from your phone and from your radio. So once you tested everything and made sure that uh, the music plays on all the speakers, now you can run the cables and hide the module. So the easiest way to run the iPod cable and the auxiliary cable is into the glove box. Once the radio is out, you can actually reach with your hand and there's an opening there. So you can just drop the cables inside and hide the module at the back. The other option which requires drilling is uh, getting the cables coming into this uh, compartment right here. And uh, we, have, uh, we already removed uh, these four clips. That's why I was mentioning a Phillips uh, screwdriver early in the video because you have to remove these plastic screws and then the clips come out. So there's uh, two on each side. So there's two right here. So one, one and two. And same thing on the other side. No, you can't really see it from there, but... So once you remove the clips, this panel right here just comes off. Just like that. So now maybe you can see better. So the two clips would be here. And same thing on the other side. So uh, once this is removed, you can just uh, drill a hole on top of here. It would have to be the same uh, diameter as this one. Um, you can just drill the hole and bring the cables up. Hide the module on the back and you can drop the harness cable right through. This is like a big opening behind there. And uh, you can have the cables coming out of here. So it's up to you which way you want to install it. Uh, I think this is pretty much it. So again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits in uh, 2003. Mazda Tribute.